So about two and a half months ago, I posted this video. A lot of you guys really seem to like this video, but I got one particular comment asked to me over and over and over again. At the time, I didn't have a potato or a carrot farm, and the video was originally a comparison for farming the wheat on the hub island. But now that I've got a full width carrot and potato farm, it's only right that I make a part 2 to this video. But, before I do show you the results, if you have any further questions or comments about this video, be sure to visit me live over on my Twitch streams. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below. We have a lot of open discussions over there when I'm live, and it's an overall great place to be. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alrighty, so as you can see in today's video, we're going to be doing a sequel to my previous video which covered the most profitable farming crop or one of the best crops that you can be doing just to farm for money. Now that video, like I said in the introduction, was originally supposed to be like a comparison with the wheat on the hub island because I wanted to test to see if the wheat on the hub island was any good at all and whether it'd be worth farming that instead of building a fully fledged farm like the ones that I've got here on my island, including cocoa, maybe even some sugarcane, and then potato and carrot down the bottom there as well now a lot of people were asking me why didn't you talk about pumpkins like why did you say pumpkin why did not you say melons and there's a whole bunch of other crops people were suggesting and the reason for that is because a lot of people already know this but pumpkin is by far one of the worst ways to get money pumpkin is amazing for XP but it sucks for money so I didn't cover pumpkin because I didn't think it was necessary I didn't think it'd be very worthwhile speaking about it I'll say to you guys right now pumpkin is not good for money if you weren't aware of this already now you know with all that information out of the way, let's get right into all the details, all the results, the money you make, and all the other extra nitty gritty stuff as well. So, the first thing I want to cover is how I farmed everything, and what farms I use, and just go into the explanation of what I did to make this efficient, or at least to give it a more accurate sort of testing type of thing. So, in order to farm the cocoa, I farmed this entire full width cocoa bean farm once. I went through the entire thing in one go. As you can see, this is only a too high cocoa bean farm. I do know some people who have a three or a four high and they just farm it at a much slower pace now this does mean that they will get through less of the farm at a slower rate so obviously the hours spent farming will vary depending on how big your farm is i've just gone with the two high because it was easy that's what we did originally and that's what i'm going to be keeping for the rest of the video and then as for the potato and the carrot farm the way that i farmed this was because it's an alternating one where we start with carrot and the potato then carrot the potato what i did was i grabbed out my rookie hoe which as you can see has harvesting replenish and telekinesis and then I just sort of like sat here I equipped my elephant pet which is right over here and I believe my elephant at the time was about level 76 or something around those lines not 78 like I have right now but I would equip the elephant and then I would just like align my cursor so that it was at a good angle and then farm it like this as you can see now I slowed myself down to about 250% speed because obviously it's too quick at 399 which is what I'm at right now but regardless, we farmed through this entire farm here twice because I've split it by carrot, potato, carrot, potato, meaning it's a 50-50 alternation the whole way. I farmed this one twice because that means that I was going to get a full width's worth of both carrot and potato to compare the two against a crop like cocoa bean. Now the last little bit of detail I want to give before we get into the results and how much money I made from this farm, I just want to say that I am aware that farming in a version like 1.12 is much better for farming these kind of crops because the hitbox isn't as small as it is on 1.8.9, but I don't really mind. I liked farming in 1.8.9, it's just the version that I'm used to, the version I'm more comfortable with. Just because a lot of people in the previous video were also telling me that farming in 1.12 is better, and I did learn that after the fact, although I'll still stick with 1.8.9 because I think that's the most suitable for me at least. Least. So now that you guys have seen the farms that I've used and how I farmed it, basically just going through the entire thing once for the cocoa and twice for the potato and carrot, I want to just show you guys the other gear that I used. So as you guys saw, I did use this level 78 elephant pet. Right now it's level 78, but before I think it was level 77 or 76. And then for the actual farming tools that I used, I used this replenished golden axe, which has efficiency 5 and telekinesis for the cocoa beans, of course. And then I used a harvesting 5 replenished 1 rookie hoe on the carrots and potato. 
potatoes for that. So that's just the gear that we use. Now that I've covered all of that and gotten that out of the way, we'll get to the fun part, which is what everybody wants to know about, which is obviously how much money did I make from this? And as you can see, if you've been looking hard enough, there are three chests that I've got right here, which has my carrot layer harvest, we've got the potato layer harvest, and the cocoa layer harvest with all of the gear that we got from this. So I'm quickly just going to empty my inventory really quick so I can show you guys how much we actually got. And then we'll go over to the bazaar and we'll see how much this all sells for to see if it's worth it, which one's better, and also talk about some other things later on in the video. Alright, so now that I've cleared out my inventory and I can actually pick up all of the items, I'm going to start with a cocoa bean chest because cocoa bean is the one that I saw has the most amount of crop. And also, we did cover cocoa bean in the last video being the second best option against sugarcane. However, sugarcane has actually dropped a lot in price since that video because obviously things like god splashes are kind of useless now since the god potion was released and a whole bunch of other factors. But that's not what we're here for today. I'm just going to open this chest up really quickly to show you guys that we ended up getting just a little bit over half a double chest full of enchanted cocoa beans so if I just go ahead and grab all of this out and then put it in my inventory I will get to just these extra cocoa beans later on although the price of this really doesn't matter at all we'll just open up the bizarre menu really quickly here I'll click on enchanted cocoa bean and then if I hover over the sell now button the insta sell button it says that it will sell for a total of 1.1 million coins at least at the time of me recording this video now, this is some pretty decent money for a full harvest of a too high cocoa bean farm it did take me a about 50 minutes I would like to say give or take something like that it did earn a pretty solid amount of money now granted I am using an elephant pet and the elephant pet does have a chance to double your crops while farming and this is further influenced by your farming level and since my farming level is currently 32 and at the time of me gathering all this information it was also level 32 it gives me a hundred percent chance to get double drops and also has a 28 percent chance to get triple drops and the elephant pet can actually double the triple crops if that makes any sense, of course. But with that out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and put the cocoa beans back in the chest. I will get to selling these later on when I play some Skyblock. And now we'll go over to the potato layer harvest. So a lot of you guys know that potato is a very good crop. And for a long time, potato has been great for making hot potato books. And those are really why they sell so well. But if you have a look real quick to see how much we ended up getting from a full harvest, or at least two harvests worth, which once again wasn't a full hour. It was a little bit under that. I ended up getting about 10 enchanted baked potatoes, almost an 11th one so we were very close to getting an 11th enchanted baked potato but if I grab all of these potatoes out here and then I go to the sell inventory because these are all different items you can see that we only got 845,000 coins from this now I'm pretty sure that because a full layers harvest of potatoes is a little bit less than an hour or I think it might be less than the cocoa bean one I would say that this might not be as accurate as it could be because I didn't measure this by the hour I measured it by harvest but potato only made about 850k which is a lot less than what I expected. These potatoes are just 10 hot potato books worth, plus the almost the 11th one here. So overall, not too bad, not too good either. Farming has definitely lost a lot of its potential like it used to, at least from the time of me recording the previous video about two months ago. But enough of the rambling, now that we've got the potatoes out of the way, let's go cover the carrots now, so I'll just throw these back in this chest, open the carrot layer harvest, and you can see that we ended up getting a lot of enchanted carrots here. Now if we just grab all the carrots and then take these to the bazaar once again, just to show you guys how much this earns, if I go to the sell inventory button, we see that we only made 784,000 coins from the enchanted carrots. Now there is one thing you need to know about enchanted carrots, which I think is very, very, very important, and it's to never sell enchanted carrots, at least the way they are just straight up from my experience your best bet is to craft either great carrot candy which requires a simple carrot candy and then surrounding it by stacks of 40 enchanted carrots around the edges and then to make a simple it's just nine stacks of regular carrot or what you can do is you can just go to the superb carrot candy recipe which is right over here this is a lot more expensive it requires a greater carrot candy and it requires enchanted gold carrots but if you're willing to save up all the carrots that you farm from these farms and to spend maybe a little bit of money on the gold to make the enchanted gold carrots you can earn a lot more money doing so because obviously you're crafting a very expensive item that richer players will be wanting to use to level their pets up a lot and I feel like this might be a much better option to actually do instead of just selling them straight away to the bazaar this way because this is going to get you a lot less money but of course it does take a lot longer to turn them all into carrot candies and not everyone's willing to actually do that. 
So you guys saw the results there from farming a full layer of potato, full layer of carrot, and then a full layer of cocoa. We ended up getting just a little under 800k for carrots, 850k for potatoes, and then about 1.1 mil on cocoa beans. Now this does say that cocoa beans is technically the best crop, at least for the tests that I ran in this video. However, there are still some things you need to keep in mind when you go out to make your own crops because they might be a make or break situation, depending on what you want to do, of course. So the first thing I want to say, which is a big one that actually just really does it for me, and it's one of the main reasons why I don't actually farm cocoa beans, but it's the fact that when I actually go to farm cocoa, so if I just say, just break some blocks here, AOTE down, and now I'm going to go farm my cocoa beans, when you run in a straight line like this, of course, I'm crouching right now because I'm a little bit too quick, but when you go in your straight line farming your cocoa beans, what tends to happen to me is normally I watch some videos or do something in the meantime, and then I slowly end up drifting off the side, and as you can see, I'm no longer farming cocoa cocoa beans and for me at least because I like to do things mindlessly and not really worry about what I'm doing when I'm farming I tend to accidentally like not farm cocoa bean all the time and it's really really inconvenient when doing so so for me at least when farming cocoa beans it's really not that much fun and I kind of prefer to go with something like carrot or potato even if it does lose me a little bit of money it's a lot more convenient and it's also way more consistent in my opinion so that is one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind when farming cocoa beans and now for the last important thing that I want to make sure you guys are aware of, and it's that the cocoa bean price margins are actually the best out of any of these crops right here when it comes to selling them to the NPC. So as you guys know, markets for all these crops are never stable. In the original video that I made where I compared cane with wheat and cocoa bean, the cane prices at the time, I believe, selling my full inventory of cane made about 1.1 million coins, and I think I had about 12 enchanted sugar canes to actually sell. If we just check the buy order right now, to say 12 insta bought enchanted sugar canes right here right now you can see that the price would only be 720k which is a 300k profit loss from me making that video about two and a half months ago However, if you take a look at something like cocoa beans, I'm just going to grab one out of my chest right here to show you guys. And I'll also grab an enchanted baked potato and then an enchanted carrot to show you this as well. If we just open the trade menu to just sell this to the NPCs, you can see that if I were to sell an enchanted cocoa bean right now, it would go for 480 coins. But if I were to sell it to the bazaar, it would only go, it would go for an extra 650 coins. So the difference between cocoa beans being sold at the NPCs or at the bazaar isn't too large. It's only about a 170 coin difference which is still a lot it does add up over time as we do have a ton of enchanted cocoa beans in here but if you take a look at something like the enchanted carrot or the enchanted baked potato being sold at the npc you can see that an enchanted carrot will sell for 160 coins at the npc but on the bazaar if we were to insta sell it it would go for 440 coins now that's a margin of 240 so as you can see already the margins between carrots at the npc and the bazaar is much larger than cocoa beans as the margin between carrot on the npc and bazaar is 200 180 coins while the margin for cocoa bean was only 170 and I'm pretty sure it doesn't even get better with enchanted baked potatoes because if I just check what it's like with enchanted baked potatoes as well they go for 25,600 coins at the NPC but if you check the bazaar they go for 76,831 coins and the margins between enchanted baked potato is a whopping 51,231 coins, which obviously is massive. Like, you don't want to be losing that much money, but then again, this item does have a higher value than the enchanted carrot and cocoa bean does. So there you have it. You've got the results for farming potatoes, carrots, and cocoa bean. We have concluded that cocoa bean is probably the most reliable and also the most efficient crop to farm, even though it's a little bit uncomfortable when doing so with the actual farms because it's a lot easier to drift off the side and misclick all the cocoa beans. It does give you a more fail-safe type thing as you're probably not going to lose much money if the bazaar does end up crashing with the results of maybe this video or just in general over time. But potato and carrot are still a very good option. They don't fall too far behind cocoa beans and I feel like if you optimize your setups well enough and if you have a high level elephant pet high level farming level the difference between the two may not actually be that drastic at all and overall all three of these crops are a great option i definitely recommend just the one that you like the most and the one that you would actually choose on doing because at the end of the day it really just matters on whether you like farming or not because if you don't like farming at all you aren't going to do it you're not going to make any money it's just going to be a complete waste of your time and that's obviously not what you want happening but with all of that being said, hopefully you guys did find this video useful or enjoyable in some way. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel because I do make Hypixel Skyblock videos every Wednesdays and Fridays. And also, if you've got any further questions or comments about this video, be sure to pop into my Twitch streams. I stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The links are down in the description below.
But with all that being said, hopefully you all did enjoy this video. And as always, take care and peace. <laughs> what am I watching, bro? Ah, oh, yeah, you're my bitch. Yeah, you're my... Oh. <laughs> you killed it.